Welcome to Analyzing Ruby Weapons, the series where we examine the weapons of Ruby to see how well they stack up as weapons as well as how well they match their user. This week we cover Weishni's weapon Mertnaster. The format as always will be the basics of the weapon, the fighting style, followed by the inspirations that went into the weapon's design, then the changes that I would suggest to either the weapon or fighting style. Finally we wrap everything up with the scores of the weapon and the user interface. Basics Mertnaster is a multi-action dust revolver or MADR for short, the weapon is a rapier with a revolver mechanism built into the cross guard section of the sword containing several vials of dust powder, while it is never explained how the vials work based on the phrasing of the concept art and engineering knowledge I possess, the vials are likely pressurized with the hammer of the revolver used to trigger a release of a set amount of dust from the end of the vial onto the blade via the exhaust port. Coating the blade with dust allows Weiss to change the properties of her semblance's glyphs, each dust type seems to have a different effect, it is unknown if mixing dust will affect her summons so we will not count that in the scoring. Known Dust Effects Red dust produces fire in the forms of either an crescent of flame following the tip of the rapier or a fireball shot from the tip depending on Weiss's desire. Blue dust generates ice in the form of walls or small balls that can be attached to bullets or launched from the tip of her sword when the balls hit a solid surface they coat the area of impact in ice. Yellow dust is used to produce a time dilation effect allowing those who were within the glyph's boundaries to move at significantly higher speed. Cyan dust is used to produce some form of barrier that is invisible until struck which causes blue ripple-like effects to appear on the surface. White dust allows for the production of a whirlwind coming from the tip of the rapier. Gravity dust has also been shown to be housed in the weapon but is never stated or clearly shown to have an effect, it is possible the gravity dust is needed for the creation of her black glyphs but this is unknown at the time of making this video. Fighting Style Weiss's fighting style has changed drastically over the volumes, we will only be briefly touching on the horror of volume 5 style since that is an unpolished style and a mistake from the writers in my opinion, Weiss is seen mostly mixing long-range dust charged bolts projected from her weapon or glyphs summoned in the air along with rapid thrusts normally propelled by her glyphs, Weiss also creates walls of ice to help control the battlefield by limiting the approach of her foes or capturing them within the ice itself. The glyphs also have many other effects as mentioned prior, Weiss uses these glyphs to maneuver at high speeds and change angles of her attacks as well as buffing herself or allies or debuffing her enemies. In Volume 5 she tries and fails to bring her summoning power into her combat style with the exception of the fight with the Flying Grim or when sneak attacking Hazel it has proven to be only a hindrance in each fight where she attempts to summon. Weiss first must stop attacking and lower her guard becoming unable to move while summoning and cannot move until the summoning is complete, because of this enemies are easily able to stop her attempts rendering her summoning useless. Creator note, her summoning could have easily been brought into combat if Weiss used the small palm sized summoning seal to quickly bring the knight out in it is small form before growing it at a distance, by creating an ice wall she would have bought herself enough time to summon then move away to draw the attention of her target allowing the knight to reach a combat viable size before being noticed. Inspirations The rapier is a sword type that dates back to the 1500s Spain, it is a long slender blade with a hilt that has a dome-shaped guard protecting the hand, the sword is used primarily for thrusting and was normally carried as a dress sword for military or nobleman's weapon for self-defense and dueling. While some rapiers had sharpened edges most had dull edges as they were not meant for slashing but instead for thrusting and puncturing with the dull edges serving to make the taper of the rapier more stable and deeper cutting than a simple stick with a point. The rapier was often paired with a dueling dagger or small buckler to make the weapon more viable in real combat. Weiss's weapon also has a revolver aspect that is limited to the overall look of the part and the loading method as the weapon does not function like one. The weapon uses a more carousel dispenser method with a fixed amount released from pressurized vials of dust, this can be seen in how Weiss uses the same dust type several times without having to adjust the revolver. Changes The first change the weapon needs is a speed loader, since it is shown that Weiss needs to load each vial by hand in battle this would leave her open to attack during the reload time leading to a high chance of death against faster more aggressive enemies. 
the speed loader would shorten the reload time along with allowing her to reload more easily while moving as we have seen her need to stop and reload instead of loading on the fly. Another change would be adding a parrying dagger or buckler to allow for better defense when trying to summon or to give her an opening, the addition of an offhand weapon would allow her to parry or block attacks with the off weapon then counter with her main weapon. Scoring Weapon Versatility, 10 out of 10 the weapon has a function for every possible need with Weiss's semblance, with the power to change the elemental damage typing along with switching between long range and close range the weapon is able to counter many different types of enemies, even able to comfortably subdue rather than kill with the use of the ice dust. Simplicity, 3 out of 10. A rapier unlike most takes a lot of skill to master and combine that with the need to know what dust to use and when, makes it far more complex than your average weapon. Every time a new option is added to something it inherently gets more complex and difficult to master. Each dust element has positive negative aspects meaning you must weigh the cost and benefits to using any type when in battle along with managing their supply of dust. Power, 9 out of 10. The power we have seen the weapon produce with Weiss's semblance is extremely high, the walls of ice have been shown to lock down large powerful grim for extended periods along with damage the other elements have shown such as the explosive power of the fire element or the speed boost provided by the lightning element. DPS, 9 out of 10. We have seen several times Weiss attack at a very high speed, dealing a lot of damage in a short period of time. Due to the nature of the rapier the weapon's design for a fast darting combat style Weiss is able to produce volleys of dust bolts or a series of thrusts in a short amount of time. Weight, 8 out of 10. Despite people's belief, rapiers are not light, even ones like Weiss's still have a solid weight to them, adding in the weight of the revolver and the ammo lands at this ranking. Total times 2, 78, or, B+. Scoring user, fighting style. 8.5 out of 10. While the last volume damaged this score to some degree her style is still very well suited to the weapon. With her smaller build and high speed method of close quarter combat a fast precise weapons is well suited to this and allows for more concentrated attacks making the most of each blow landed. Size, 7 out of 10. As stated before the weapon would have a decent weight and Weiss is a bit on the small side body wise, this is countered by her shorter rapier but only slightly. Due to weight of the weapon it would have a tendency to be hard to recover from each thrust for someone of Weiss's size, while the pull could be minimized with proper form and training the effect would still be there and cause more strain than a slimmer design akin to winter is saber. Semblance, 9.5 out of 10. The weapon was all but built around her semblance and it shows, with the exception of the summons the weapon is perfect for her semblance. Her glyphs are a key part of her fighting style and the increases options the rapier is dust adds is very impactful allowing Weiss to alter her semblance to fit the fight and even shape the world around her to given her greater control. Armor, 7 out of 10. Her sleeves and coat would in real life interfere with her sword play and loading by how loose they are, the skirt if made right would not affect her performance due to aura. However the sleeves would limit her reload speed and along with the coat could catch on her hilt or the environment. Carry, 7 out of 10. While the weapon is lighter than most weapons the carry case she uses is large and cumbersome and even in battle she would need to carry large belts of ammo if she can not take her case with her as we have seen her reload a few times in several battles. In addition her carry case is shown to hold a limited amount of dust despite her weapon is reliance on it. Total times 2 equals, 78, or, B+. Thank you for watching, please remember to like comment, subscribe and spread word of this video's existence, if you wish to do even more you may give me money by becoming a patron to this channel granting benefits to you not bestowed upon the general masses. Good luck and good hunting.